A patient comes to you with a bad cough. You examine the patient and think it's pneumonia. So you send the sputum sample for a culture test. In the lab, the specimen is inoculated in a culture media where the bacteria grows and we can identify the bacteria under a microscope. And we do all of this so that we can prescribe the proper antibiotics to cure the infection. So, hey guys, today we are going to be talking about culture, which is one of the most important topics in microbiology. Let's start with the question, what is a culture media? Well, media are the artificial food of microorganisms, which are used to cultivate them in the laboratory under appropriate biochemical and biophysical environment. Now, by this environment, we mean the presence of essential nutrients and ions, proper moisture to help the bacteria grow, maintaining the correct pH and osmotic pressure, and neutralizing any toxic materials produced, which can prevent bacteria from growing. We can classify culture media on the basis of consistency of the media into solid, semi-solid, and liquid, and on the basis of constituents in the media into basic, enriched, selective, indicator, transport, and anaerobic media. One thing to note is indicator media is also known as differential media. Now let's talk a little about each of them. Let's start with solid media. This media is made solid by adding 1.5 to 2% agar. Few of the most commonly used solid media are nutrient agar, blood agar, and chocolate agar media. We mainly use this media to identify the bacteria because we can see the colony. Also, it's very easy to inoculate the specimen and pick up bacteria for subculture. A big advantage is here, more than one organism can be separated, because each type forms a separate colony. One disadvantage here is biochemical tests cannot be performed in these types of media. Note that there is a special type of solid media called firm agar media, because 4-6% to of agar is used here. Some bacteria grow and spread rapidly, for example, Proteus and Clostridium. To observe their colonies, this media is used. On the semi-solid media, here, 0.2 to 0.5% agar is used, which keeps them semi-solid. A few examples would be soft agar media and motility indoluria or MIU media. These are commonly used as transport media and also to observe the motility of some bacteria and for some biochemical tests. There are a lot of liquid media like peptone water, nutrient broth, glucose broth, Robertson's cooked meat media, etc. Liquid media are used for most biochemical tests and can be used as transport media too. A very important point to remember is they are also used as enrichment media, but more on that later. As liquid media do not contain any agar, colonies can't form on these media. So bacteria identification is not possible and for the same reason pure culture isn't possible either. Now based on the constituents, basic media is the simplest media. As there are no special nutritional requirements, it is used to prepare enriched media. Examples are peptone water and nutrient broth agar. Enriched media is basically a basic media which is enriched by whole or lysed blood, serum peptone, yeast extract, vitamins, salt, and other growth factors. For the sake of simplicity, just remember blood, egg, and serum can be used. These media are used to grow fastidious organisms, which means they have complex nutritional requirements. Such organisms are Hemolytic Streptococcus, Haemophilus, and Neisseria. They ensure the rapid multiplication of pathogen which may be present in small numbers. A few examples are blood agar, chocolate agar, Loeffler serum, Lowenstein Jensen media and Dorset egg media, etc. These media are often used for specimen collected from sites which are normally sterile such as blood, CSF and other body fluids. Selective media are called such because they contain substances that allow the growth of selective bacteria while inhibiting the growth of unwanted bacteria. So, they are used when a particular species of bacteria need to be isolated. Remember, selective media is always solid. 
Let's look at a few selective media. The most commonly used are Lowenstein Jensen media, McConkey's agar media, DCA or deoxycholate citrate agar media, bile salt agar, TCBS agar and blood telluride agar media. Each of these media are used to culture a specific type of bacteria, such as Lowenstein Jensen for tuberculosis, McConkey for Enterobacteriaceae. As they contain bile salt, they only let Enterobacteriaceae grow. Then DCA for Salmonella and Shigella, bile salt and TCBS agar for Vibrio cholerae, and blood telluride agar for Carnibacterium diphtheriae. Remember, in Lowenstein Jensen media, Malachite green is used as the selective substance. It is very high yield. Now on to indicator media. As the name implies, it contains some indicator substance which changes visibly as a result of metabolic activities of a particular organism. Let's look at McConkey's agar media. It contains lactose and neutral red. So if a bacteria ferments lactose, it produces a lot of acid which converts the neutral red to pink Another example is blood agar media, where hemolysis is the indicator. Transport media, as we discussed previously, are mainly semi-solid media. They maintain the viability of pathogen and at the same time avoid overgrowth of other contaminants such as commensals. This media is used because commensal bacteria present in the specimen would outgrow the pathogen in the normal nutrient medium. They are usually used when the specimen can't be cultured as early as required. A few examples are Stewart media for gonococci, bile peptone for vibrio, cariblair for fecal bacteria and glycerol saline. Anaerobic media are required for growth of anaerobic bacteria such as Clostridium. They contain reducing substance such as sucrose which help to maintain the anaerobic environment. Examples are Robertson's cooked meat media and thioglycolate media. Lastly, let's talk about one special media that might cause some confusion, the enrichment media. It favors the growth of a particular species while inhibiting the growth of others. Remember that it is always a liquid media. Now, looking at the definition, you probably figured out it sounds a lot like a selective media. But remember, selective media is always solid. So, this media is also known as liquid selective media. Examples are selenide broth, Robertson's cooked meat media, tetracyanate media, and alkaline peptone water. That's all for today. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos.